has been a marvelous host city for the Southeastern Conference Basketball Tournament, the 2010 edition. It is the SEC on ESPN, and it's semifinal Saturday in the SEC tourney. All part of Championship Week presented by Dick Sporting Goods. Our first game this afternoon is a dandy, a rubber match between Kentucky and Tennessee, number 13 and number two in the country, set in game one here at Bridgestone Arena. Wildcats of John Calipari, sensational backcourt. Two of the guys are freshmen in John Wall and Eric Bledsoe. Darius Miller joins them. And up front, Patrick Patterson, the veteran, and DeMarcus Cousins, another super freshman. Play four in this game. Cousins isn't going to miss that one. The big guy got ahead of steam, and he's got the first basket. He's a lob. Cousins. They've done it twice already. Ready opening. Couple of minutes. Can't lose you, partner. No. Absolutely. Now Wall up and under. So much speed combined between Bledsoe and Wall. You delete the first drive, and there's a kick to the best driver in college basketball to back it up, John Wall. And here's Wall driving the other way on the steal. Oh, yes, he did. About the youth of Kentucky, all starters. Look at the numbers. He has met expectations because the expectations for these three guys were to lead Kentucky to an SEC championship, a number one seed, and a national championship. And they are on track right now, at least heading into the NCAA tournament. That freshman recruiting class that Cal put together quickly at Kentucky, right there with the best, I think, in the last 15 years. And again, try to force it to Patterson. Cousins finds the handle and a chance for a three-point play. And that was just a muscle shot. <laughs> Most guys don't even get that thing to the rim yep. because he was getting fouled, but watch the power of number 15. Brad, he's strong as an ox. I mean, he's got a set of shoulders on him that no one else in college basketball has and very few at the next level has. One of those passes ricochets instead of line drives which is what happened early. Wall, that time he found his man. Patrick Patterson's first basket. Williams had a hand on it. Wall stole it from him. And wait for some help. Miller in the corner for three. Darius Miller, effective. He's down on the deck. Tennessee has numbers, but they don't use them. And now Cousins is all alone. Hammer time. Talk about being in the right place at the right time on the wrong end. Bledsoe, that is a good shot. A tier fan because Kentucky is doing things like that. And Tennessee's not. Tatum had it pinned by Cousins on the glass. To pin that one against the window. Four minutes into the second half. Here's Cousins on offense with a big win. Jeff Foote, Eggel Cedar at Northern Iowa would not allow those seven foot big bodies. Kentucky has a plethora of them. Not many guys have one of these though. See, have a run in them. Bledsoe, dead eye from three. I'll ask you, what did Bledsoe do as soon as he caught that basketball? Straight up, just like his coach told him. Bledsoe, same spot, same result. Now Wall. And Bledsoe tried one too many passes. Hobson trying to beat him to the basket. And Bledsoe ripped it out of his hands, but threw it away. Wall down to Patterson. Bledsoe got it. Marina's getting their share of it right now. Dotson got a three. And did not hesitate. Get it out. Dotson, same spot for three. Got it. Well, Washington. DeMarcus Cousins, we've seen his moves, we've seen his moves, but then we've seen his basketball, and it has been something else in this second half. Defensively, on the other end, offensively, muscling, blocking shots. As I said, he's been a rebounding machine. Another double-double is 19th of the year, and as Jimmy said, he is a man. And he's been the man, and now it's 58-41 to 41 with just under five minutes remaining in the ball game. Say it again. We are playing to win by 25. If you see a shot, you take it. Cousins went down, gets back defensively though, trying to block this job, partner. 
at the free throw line where he struggled all day and maybe justly gets that he's got to get Goins. Bobby Mays is trying to. Behind the back wall to the rack. Got it. Oh, it, it is hard to chase John Wall and Eric Bledsoe. The kick out this time to Patterson. And now Bledsoe sets for a triple. Got it. They have. Final score, Kentucky 74, Tennessee 45. Kentucky is 31 and 2. Tennessee drops to 25 and 8, and now they'll wait until tomorrow night to find out where they're going to play in the NCAA. Kentucky will still hold out hope that maybe they would not only be a number one seed, but the overall number one seed. Congratulations on a big effort from you. You had a couple of games where you were a little bit quiet teams double teamed you and all how were you able to make more of an impact today well i just tried to come in and play with a high energy um i've been struggling lately because my energy been low and that's that's bad on my part but i just try to come out tonight and have a better energy all right well congratulations we'll see you down the road that road will be tomorrow for the championship game against either the Mississippi State Bulldogs or the Commodores of Vanderbilt. All Kentucky, John Calipari's team runs away from the Volunteers in this first semifinal this afternoon. 74-45. We'll see you back here shortly for our second matchup of the day. Right now, back to John Saunders in the studio.